Thank you for being here. I appreciate the time you are spending with me while you watch this video. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller and all we say is please at least leave us alone in our living room. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes as if that's the way it's supposed to be. Television is not the truth. Television is a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobat storytellers. So if you want the truth, go to God. Go to yourselves, because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. Swift to remember, nothing left to lose. The universe has gratitude, it's up to us to choose. Choose to stay humble, yeah, we're still growing. Gaze upon the stars, yeah, cause Jah is ever knowing. Before you ask a question, look into your heart. Answers coming from the heavens, nothing sets us apart. We're one tribe, a human family. You inspire me to be a higher me. Lights in you, lights in me. In the children of our future to be so so love a burning flame i want to remind you that you get to choose what you focus your energy on and you get to choose what you buy into imagine that everything manifests as a neutral prop and you are the one who gets to decide what everything means to you personally everyone sees reality from their own particular perspective so it's natural that what is true for one person might not be truth to another person. It all depends on the lens they are viewing reality through. For me, one of the most fun parts of this human experience is the choosing. The choosing of what narratives you want to buy into. There are countless amounts of different beliefs and stories that have been passed on. There are endless narratives to choose from. There are a lot of beliefs that can be carried forward and narratives carried forward about reality that we may not have chosen ourselves. But at any point in time, you can choose to sift and sort through all the different options available, all the different narratives to choose from, and you can create your own personalized narrative. So whatever resonates with you, whatever narrative you choose is up to you. So then you say, I look out into this world, Abraham, and I see things I like and things I don't like. I see things that are true, and I'm seeking truth. And we say, everything is true. The statistics bear that out. Anything you focus upon and make active in your vibration until it becomes a dominant part of your vibration will manifest. You live in a universe that is attraction-based. Everything is about inclusion. So when you see something that you really want and you say yes to it, you include it in your vibration. But when you see something that you really do not want and you say no to it, you include it in your vibration. Because in this universe, there is no such thing as no, because this is not a universe based on the language that comes from your mouth and tongue. This is a universe that is based upon the vibration that comes from your being. And you can't always hear the vibration, but you can always feel it. You are attracting to you that which is a vibrational match to that which you are offering. So the way you feel is what you're getting more of. When I hear a narrative, I ask myself, how does it feel? I will feel that in my emotions, my energy in motion. Do you choose to buy into narratives that feel fearful or upsetting? Or do you choose to buy into narratives that feel good and uplifting? You would not look at the gas gauge on your vehicle and see it reading empty and find that so troubling that you just stick a happy face sticker over it. <laughs> there now, that feels better. Because you want to know what the indicator is telling you. It is helpful to know that you are wanting to add more fuel. And your emotions are the same sort of gauge. When you are full of yourself, you feel wonderful as you begin to empty out a little bit or pinch off by choosing vibrational frequencies that are not in alignment with who you are. It's good to know it. And so sometimes you see people, sometimes you do it yourself, where you smile a smile 
to try to cover how you are feeling or you say words that sound good, they are on the positive end of the list. But we want to say to you, it doesn't matter what word you are saying or what smile or expression is on your face. What matters is the way you feel. And it only matters to you. Nobody outside of you can understand or guide you relative to the mix of vibrations that is within you. When you really, 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 really want something and you see evidence or are focused upon something that makes you right now activate the absence of it, you're going to feel really, really bad. So somebody that's up close to you that doesn't give a rip about that desire at all, they've never thought about it, they've never cared about it, they don't want it, they look at you and they say, you're crazy to tear yourself up over this. You ought to just let that go. And we say, they don't know. They don't know how many nights you've laid awake thinking about this. They don't know how much data you've collected. They don't know how active this desire is within you. They don't know how important it is. They can't guide you. They can't tell you it's not important when it is. Only you know, you see. Well, now you know everything that we know. <laughs> everything that is important to know, you have just heard. And we suspect that you will, as we are, continue to practice it for all eternity. But you're not practicing it because you don't understand it and you've got to practice it for life to get good. You just keep practicing it and refining it because this is the way the universe expands. This is the way joy expresses itself. We never get it done and we cannot get it wrong. And the reason we cannot get it done is because every time we achieve something we get a new set of desires. And the reason you cannot get it wrong is because you never get it done. Even if you're standing in a place that feels really wrong, your marriage is hateful or your body is sick or your finances stink, you didn't get it wrong because it isn't done. Because from wherever you stand, new desire is being born. And as you reach for the best feeling thought that you have access to, you're going to have vibrational movement. And as you have vibrational movement, it is our promise to you that all things of heaven and earth, all things of manifestational form, all fairies of the universe, all orchestrators of the universe, all assistants of all of that will come to you. If you have the ability to desire it, the universe has the ability to deliver it. You just got to line up with what you want, which means be as happy as you can be, as often as you can be there, and let everything else take care of itself. If we were standing in your physical shoes, we would have a few items on our things to do today list. And the first item would be, I'm going to do as many things as I can that make me personally feel good. So if you've got a long list of things that other people are demanding from you, other responsibilities, do as many of them as you can too. We know that it's important to you to meet your commitments. But just make it a priority to put more of the things that are pleasing to you. If we were your mother, and in a sense we are, we would be soothing you every step along the way. When you say, I was bad, we would say, on the contrary, you are good. If you said, I cannot do this, we would say, yes, you can, and in time you will. If you said, I don't know where to go, we would say, you'll figure it out. If you were to say, things aren't going well for me, we would say, they are supposed to, things will get better. In other words, we would be there. In fact, we are there, soothing you every step along the way. And the reason that we are putting it into these terms is because we want you to think in terms of reaching for thoughts that give you relief. Which means beating the drum, thinking the thought that is making the best of it. Do you ever find yourself making the worst of something? Yes, you do. <laughs> and the reason you do that is because at many levels of your being, you know things are supposed to go well. And when they're not going well, there's a part of you that wants to explain to somebody what's gone wrong. And so you tend to want to justify why things aren't going well in order to explain to somebody why you're not feeling the way you innately know you should feel. And we want you to understand you don't have to explain anything to anybody. You're supposed to feel good. That is a given. You never again have to explain that to anybody. You are supposed to feel good. But please do not ask those outside of you to change their behavior in order for you to feel good. Except while you are here today that it's an inside job, that you have to make you feel good. 
And when you decide that it's up to you, you will let everybody else off the hook and they'll like you better for it. Most importantly, you will let yourself off the hook. It's a big thing. So somebody says, how's it going? And you say, great, but you've got a happy face sticker on the gas gauge. (laughs) Great. (laughs) And what you're feeling is it's not going all that well. And then you say, as you feel that negative emotion, because they've reminded you that you're not where you yet want to be, then you say, things are getting better for me. I'm finding my way. I'm figuring out as I go. I'm having a good time doing it. Evidence everywhere. Can you feel the trend of that? In other words, we want you to take the role of your own mentor and say, and I'm going to do it by reaching for thoughts that give me relief. If I am flowing energy that feels good to me genuinely, then I will be in a mindset, an energetic space that is more conducive to making choices that will align me with the vibrational frequency that is of my highest good. There is no limit to our ability to expand and to our ability to experience and to our ability to express joy. In other words, once you get on the roll of this, you're going to discover new levels of supreme joy beyond your right now comprehension but it is our promise to you that it will continue to expand i would love for you to share your perspective with me and i look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments the way i see it we are all one energy expressing itself in every way possible having the human experience we are all one energy but we are unique expressions of that one energy one energy flowing through multiple different filters. Everyone won't see reality the same. And so when someone approaches me with a belief or a story or narrative of how all that is has manifested into form, I see it as an opportunity to choose. I choose to sort and sift through all the different narratives, knowing that all are expressions of that one energy all are stories of the divine playing out different roles and characters. We are one tribe, a human family. You inspire me to be a higher me. Light in you, light in me, light in the children of our future to be. Source of love, a burning flame. No negativity will ever change. I want to be calm and belong. We'll make this work together I want to be strong My fear gone Wake up and I remember Thank you for being here I really appreciate your time I'm sending you love I'm sending you good vibes Always